Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight, uh, did a trip into Sainsbury's for the first time in probably about a year, if I'm being honest. Um, so, picked up their whole range of Taste of Difference beers. So, thought I'd better start doing some at least. Um, so, this is Taste of Difference West Moorland Ale. Uh, 4% volume. Brewed at the Jennings Brewery, Cumbria. So, Jennings are actually owned by Marston's, if you didn't know that. So, interesting. Um, not had this for a few, well, four years, if that, you know, if not longer. Uh, a lovely golden amber ale with subtle hints of toffee and caramel. Beautifully balanced by hoppy notes from the Fuggles, Goldings and Challenger hops. This beer has been brewed in the heart of the Lake District by the Brewers at Jennings. Pure Lakeland water drawn from the brewery's own well, combined with the very finest ingredients and traditional brewing methods, make this ale one to saviour. Delicious, delicious with Cumberland sausage and mash. I do apologise for the voice. I'm stinking cold. So hopefully it won't uh, hamper my um, taste buds too much. So, let's give it a pour. I actually thought this was a dark ale. Yeah. Sometimes I should read the bottle. I just fancied a dark ale. So I thought, oh, Westmoreland ale, that sounds dark. So... You get it, and then obviously it ain't. I'm not going out of the room to come back in with a dark one. So as you can see in the centre, if you can see it, yeah you can. Good carbonation rising from the widget there. Good lacing around the edge. Good golden amber colour. Nice white head. Look at that. <sighs> Malt aroma straight away. Malt, caramel, that sort of thing. So I'll have a sip because I've got the driest throat. Oh, just nice to have something wet going down the throat. So on, on ratebeer.com, this has got a rating of 2.92 out of 5 from 51 ratings. 4%, as I've already said. Uh, there's no more interesting stuff there. So, a review from October last year, 2.9 out of 5. Um, nice crocheted lacing from an off-white head. Clear golden brown body, aroma of earthy malts with citric hints. Moderate taste of citric hints and mid-sweet caramel malts. Mild moments of resinous bitterness to the ending. Oh, bummer. When the review goes long, you have to click on the side. Soft in the mouth, satisfying bitter version. So, yeah. Three out of five, this review. Middle of the road, bitter. Nothing fundamentally wrong with it. Maybe a little dull. The kind of beer my dad would love. Uh, I do think there's a place... Um, for beers, for the generation who don't want, who want the traditional beers. <laughs> Not everybody likes the hoppy stuff. Not everybody likes the sour beers. And not everybody likes all the wacky tasting beers that are out these days. We are all very different. I mean, as long as we all like beer, that's the main thing. Because obviously you don't want um, everybody in the country buying one particular brand. It would make life very boring. Um, so yeah, this, I can definitely understand what they're saying. Uh, another review. Somewhat metallic. I've got metallic taste in my mouth, strangely enough. Clearly bitter, but would have liked it more round and more, more fruity. And last review. Golden amber in colour with a thin white head, aroma of grass, malt and hops. Medium body and carbonation, taste of caramel, malt 
grass caramel and fruit light English bitter so as you can see while I've been talking for a couple of minutes it's still retaining the head rather nicely and uh, I do get I can't remember the beer myself although I've had a few over the years um, but it definitely reminds me of um, a normal old fashioned bitter sort of thing Ooh. yeah definitely malty not overly malty because obviously it's not a, a dark beer so it's as malty as you're going to get for something that's amber um, Four percent. I would have said it was stronger than that personally, just on initial taste anyway. I do like Jennings. I do like a Cumberland Ale. Well, I used to, but over the years, I can't be the only one where your taste buds have evolved, and you know what was good isn't so good these days. Um, I will re-review certain beers that, if I feel that, I didn't give them much of, you know, or beers that I drank when I reviewed. And here's a beer that I have done this with, Ode Roger. I drank this before I started reviewing, and yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And then I drank it with a review, and I don't know if it was the, the beer that day, or whatever factor in that day. But it just didn't hit the spot. And surprisingly because it's a beer that ticks boxes across the whole spectrum. And yet sadly, that particular day, it didn't. So, you know, sometimes I think as beer reviewers, it's a good thing to do beers twice. But obviously you want to try so many different beers. We all do. But sometimes it's nice just to, you know, give a beer a chance. Give a beer a chance. Although some beers don't deserve chances, obviously. So still a good head. We're seven minutes in now, and it's still lacing nicely, carbonating. So tonight at Sainsbury's, I bought I think it was eight or nine bottles, um, eight, a seven from the Taste of Difference range. So quite a few Taste of Difference um, reviews coming up. Uh, I bought Copperberg. Uh, the pear cider, the original premium pear cider, which I think is one of the very best ciders out there. I love the fruit ciders, but the best cider of all is the pear cider, in my opinion. Anyway, to me it tastes like when you open the tins of pears and you drink that juice, but obviously it's alcoholic version, which is even better. So back to this, yeah, it's not bad at all. I've tasted a lot of these Taste of Difference beers. Now, the thing is, Taste of Difference is branded as like their premium beer. That You know, it's supposed to be the best. Is it or not? You know, hmm. Does the range need reinvigorating? Uh, um, I noticed tonight there's a Rye Ale there and an IPA that I've not seen before with new... Um, graphics on the front so I picked both of them up the only one that I couldn't get was the London Porter but uh, and the cheap as well £1.60 a bottle you know you can't fault that really for the price although across the um, range of um, Sainsbury's taste different that's uh, across I know, I've just totally gone and forgot what I was going to say. Nope, it's gone. So. So, hoping to start doing beer reviews back in the beer room soon. I've uh, bought a heater for the beer room, Calagas bottle and Calagas fire. Uh, revamping it a bit, put a TV on the wall, big 42 inch TV on the wall, as you do. And uh, setting up the game consoles and that, so it's like a little home from home, you know, bits of solitude. So hopefully we'll be moving back there and uh, and uh, I'm going to set a computer up down there. 
um, I've actually been given a case today, a computer case, with a quite a decent setup on. And I'm going to set that up so at least while I'm down there, if I need to show you on a big screen certain things, I can do, which should enhance the reviews. Or maybe not, you never know. So with this bit, um, yeah, I can't fault it really. Um, I've seen the reviews on it, you know, some of them... Definitely got there's definitely a bit of resinous with it. So let me go over the points. So the looks, great looks, good carbonation lacing, uh, aroma, yeah, nice multi aroma, even with a blocked up nose. I can smell that, so that's good points. The taste, nice, bitter, you know, it's like a, I would say it's a standard traditional bitter, but uh, it's nice, much better than John Smith, that sort of thing, you know, it's not that standard, you know. It's um, it's a nail that's still there, but not not like the new craft beers. But uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, though, does it? Not in this day and age. Good taste, you know, thoroughly enjoyable. And uh, good tip from Jennings there and Marston's as well because it's one of theirs. So. Out of five. Whilst not being a top ten beer, and I didn't expect it to be, to be honest, uh, I was I was really happy with that. So I'm going to give it a three point nine five out of five. Not quite my top et etalon of beers, but uh, a good effort, damn good effort, and better score than they're given on the internet with some of these scores that they agree with. Yeah, very nice. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.